Hey everybody, I'm the Empress. Happy to be here with you guys. <laughs> Happy to be here with you guys. So today we're going to do a collective read. All right, we're going to pull from the Millennial Oracle deck here. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe. You're not going to want to miss out on future videos, okay? So, yeah, let's get into it, all right? Give me a message for the collective, please. Give me a message for the collective. Give me a message for the collective, please. All right, looks like a lot of y'all are staying in, okay? Staying in, all right? It, it seems like that any it should be that way anyway because of corona all right we got covid um running rampant right now so a lot of people are deciding look i'm gonna stay in okay we're gonna have a staycation all right some of y'all are you know digitally doing everything okay y'all are digitally doing everything online like i'm getting like staying at home and doing things online okay yeah a lot of y'all are in the mood to you know love up and curl up with your boo thing for the holidays or new years all that going here and going there and mingling look it's not leading to nothing but everybody throws tingling okay so we're not trying to we're trying to avoid that okay yeah i see a lot of online activity going on okay some of y'all focus could definitely be trying to go viral online all right looks like instagram some of you guys are going viral on instagram okay yeah but that's something it might be you know you might be doing something something on the low it's supposed to be low key okay but it looks like it's something it's obviously working for you online because it looks like you got a lot of people trolling you a lot of people are trolling you because it looks like you're going viral, okay? There's something about what you're doing on the internet. You're being looked at. You're being watched, okay? So, it looks like half of the collective is, like, focused on staying in, you know, doing everything online. You could be shopping online. You could be doing Instacart online. You could be doing pretty much everything online okay and then the other half it looks like y'all got people watching y'all online it looks like somebody's going viral okay tell me more yeah benching yeah i see i definitely see like energy of like sitting down sitting down somewhere okay it's like yeah i'm about to sit down somewhere I ain't even finna do no capping right now. I'm, I'm finna sit down. So I'm getting like, like I said, half of the collective, you guys are staying in. You're doing everything digitally. You're ordering DoorDash and all that. You're not even trying to go out right now. Okay, tell me about the other half of the collective here. Didn't I tell you? Insta famous. The other half of y'all, y'all online. It looks like it could be Instagram, Facebook, and it's like y'all are y'all are turned up online. Yep, so someone is being shady, something is being hitty, suspicious, untrustworthy. Okay, so I told you there's some gossiping going on about what you got going on online. Okay. It's like one minute you might be chilling and doing basic stuff like you know what you would normally do your normal routine, and then the next minute you turned up like you live you posting pics you doing the most you showing off and you got people looking at it like mm, it's something shady about this how come one minute she did so he's doing this and then the next minute he doing that like mm, it's just something about it right hating energy okay so Let's look into, let's get a little bit more information. Since I didn't particularly see anything in love pop out, I see like y'all settling with y'all booze and stuff, but it don't look like, you know, that's the main focus here. So we're just going to jump straight into the tarot. I'm not going to pull any 
love cards. Y'all can look at your individual signs for that. Um, and I just did Pisces. I'm getting ready to do um, Cancer next. All right, so let's see what messages. Give me um, more messages in regards to the collective. Oh, I told you. Somebody's, it's a lot of spying going on. Like, it's either you're spying or somebody's spying on you. Okay, like somebody's trying to see what your plans is. What's your what what your plans is? Like somebody wants you is waiting on you to tell what your next move is. Okay, so they can get a chance. Okay, so they can they trying to think ahead of you. We got the will and the and the nine of swords. They trying to be a step ahead of you. So they trying to see what you what you got planned. Like what's what's your next step? What's the next plan? Tell me more. Oh, because I'm telling you, your whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you're building, whatever it is that you're manifesting, it looks like it is moving forward. It's going to progress. It's going to continue to move forward. So whatever you've been doing in 2021, 2022, it's going to keep going. Okay, you're making so much progress. Okay. You're making so much progress and then you got people that's just watching you you got somebody or a group of people that's like just watching you like what's the ne what's next they're trying to see what's next what you gonna come up with next oh four of swords jump queen of pentacles i told you it's like you always got money on your mind you got you got a strategic a strategic a strategic mind like you can come up with a blueprint okay you got the a goal oriented mind frame okay or this person could that's watching you could be a virgo towards capricorn or you could be a virgo towards capricorn but you carry that energy now one thing definitely capricorn energy one thing about a capricorn is that they are very very goal oriented everything is you know about reputation everything is about goals everything is about business work money yep see you got you got everybody's attention there is this king of swords here libra gemini aquarius energy here but we got the six of wands and the world here it's like everybody you got everybody's attention Oh, the person who doesn't like it could be a Leo. Okay, the person that could be spying on you could be a Leo. They could be upset because they feel like you're getting, you're trying to get all of the attention. Wow. Tell me more about this Leo somebody does not have the confidence that you have that could be why they're watching you maybe they're inspired maybe they're watching you from a distance and they could be inspired by you they may not be saying anything they could just be feeling like, dang, I wish I had that, that confidence, you know? This person, these people or, or person that could be watching you just may not have, you know, enough self-confidence. Two more. Okay, Nine of Pentacles and, okay, there's quite a few messages here. All right, so. I see, I, I see there could possibly be, possibly be something um, like a, a casual thing going on here. Um, maybe you're keeping your distance from this person, this person that you could have been dealing with 
could have been um, a Virgo or a Taurus or Capricorn. I'm getting someone could have been married. That could be why you're keeping your distance from them. And somebody, okay, what I'm getting here, somebody made a quick decision, okay? They made a quick decision. Um, and it's in regards to a connection, a relationship. This person could have been juggling you and someone else, okay? Yep, I'm seeing that somebody does not, somebody feels, um, I see that someone could definitely be married because I see someone uh, really in their feelings here, really in their feelings about someone supposed to be getting a divorce. But somebody's feeling like they may regret it if they do. We got the tower. There could have been a tower moment in the past. Um, someone here is like over, somebody overthinks a lot, okay? And this person's feeling like if they do get the divorce, they may regret it. I see this person running away um, from this connection. That could have been a side thing. Now, what came out here is the Nine of Pentacles and the Judgment, Queen of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody here is waiting on some type of explanation or some type of invitation or a message. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or this person could be a third party. Yeah, it's like somebody needs is waking up to the real realizing something, realizing what something truly is. Something's not fair. Okay, something's not fair. This is this I feel like this is a third party. This person is starting to get pissed off. Someone could be younger. You got the Knight of Pentacles here. And they're really risky. Like they like to take risks. I keep getting that someone could definitely be married or living together. But someone here is like really indecisive. They are there one minute and next minute they aren't. Like, they, you can't really pin them down. And this person is still stuck in the past. They feel like they should have waited. But that's a side note. And I feel like there's a third party. Whoever could be a third party to the situation is the one that's watching you. Tell me more about this page of swords. watching the collective tell me more whoever this is they're having regrets they feel like they pushed you to to do something all right so king of pentacles and queen of wands so there could be a virgo taurus capricorn male or female or a queen of wands leo sagittarius aries male or female or they could carry that energy. Why are they spying? Oh, okay. They're looking for clues. They're like trying to gather information on you. The hermit and the judgment. They're trying to gather some type of information on you. 
I'm getting a Capricorn. I'm getting a Capricorn here. Okay. So someone's like, they can't believe that you're not thinking about them anymore. They are actually surprised. Like, they are shocked. They are surprised. Okay. They, <laughs> they are surprised. Like, you're not, you don't, you're not thinking about me. You don't care. You're not, you don't feel the passion no more. Is the passion gone? You put your passion, your passionate energy into something else. You're not focused on me. Hmm. Okay, so here comes the love scenario. Could be an Aquarius. This person was hoping that you was going to wait on them. We got Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person could have been trying to stop you. They wanted you to wait till they got back. So they came back around. They was waiting. They wanted you to wait for this connection. Wait till they come back around. But this person knew that they crossed the boundary in the past, okay? So they knew that they messed up with you, okay? So maybe you walked away. Maybe they walked away. Somebody walked away. Somebody cut somebody off. Uh, could have cut somebody off financially. Like I said, I'm getting a marriage here. Somebody could have been married, but they behaved single, or this is somebody that you could have had a connection with for a very long time, but they just don't act right, okay? <laughs> they, just, they just don't act right. They knew that they crossed the boundary with you. They knew. They know it. I feel like they, okay. Okay, so this is gonna be the conclusion to the situation. This person wants to fix this connection with you. They want to balance this out, especially if it's a marriage. But this person could have been having financial issues. This person could be having financial issues. Or there could be an issue within the family. Conflict with family or money issues, okay? I'm not sure if this person communicated that with you, but it's the truth, okay? Ace of Swords. This person was very conflicted, okay? Very conflicted. Very, okay? So, that's the message that I have for the collective. If this message resonates with you guys, be sure to comment below. Let me know what's going on in the comment section. As well as share with your family and friends. If you're new, go ahead and click that bell to subscribe. And till next time, ciao for now.